Hello, I'm Graham Bray from Easier Internet Marketing and welcome to this new video series Create Your First Blog with WordPress. Okay, now in this first video we're going to be quite optimistic in the ground we're going to cover. I'm going to start first of all by introducing you to a blog and show an example of a blog. Then we're going to discuss domain names and from that go into GoDaddy, get our own domain name and finally look to link all this together by hosting with HostGator. Okay, so the first question is what is a blog? Now, a blog, if I look at Wikipedia, gives us this definition. A blog is a type of website in which an individual or group of users record opinions, information, etc. on a regular basis. Now, on the World Wide Web, there's over 110 million blogs. So, lots of people out there blogging. Let's have a look now at a blog and explain what it's all about. So, here we are in a typical blog. This one is bearded dragon care site. This one is particularly um, giving information to people but your blog could easily be um, a diary of your day or um, your hobby or it could be a marketing blog. Lots of different things you could use blogs for. This is a typical blog so here we've got the uh, the posts. Just go down a little bit. These are some posts here. Um, here's the next post, bearded dragon care do and don't. And you've got some links then at the side. Um, some care posts here we can go to if we wanted to and there's also a resource there we could go to. So this is a very very typical blog that you might want to construct using WordPress. Okay so let's start thinking now about what are the really basic things we need to get our blog up and running. Now here we have a blank canvas. Now what I'm assuming um, is that you've got zero knowledge about blogs and uh, WordPress so we're going to start from absolute beginning and work on from there. If at any point there's things you don't understand go back and rewatch the video again or if need be get in touch with me and I'll help you as we go through. Okay let's look first of all at what's called a URL. Up here we've got the URL. If you go into the into your web browser that's how you get onto the internet and look at this bit here and here we've got google.co.uk perhaps one of the most famous of all URLs. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator and basically it's the address uh, where you go to to find this particular website. Now there are two parts to the URL. First of all there's HTTP which is called the Protocol Identifier we're not going to get too involved with that and the second part is a bit we're interested in which is this bit. This is called a resource or domain name. Now I'm going to start thinking now about what exactly is a domain name. Domain name is a unique address that can be used on the internet is what you see after the www dot in your web browser. So you type this in and that will take you to the website you're looking for. Now as an example here is the domain name of the site we looked at earlier www dot bearded dragon care site dot com. Now every domain name consists of two key parts. First of all we've got what's called the top level domain. In this case here the top level domain is .com and secondly we've got the second level domain which in this case here is the bearded dragon care site. Now there are different sorts of top level domains. There's .com, there's .co.uk if you're in the, in the UK or whatever. Now .com is the most commonly used and it's the one we try to use for most visibility on the web. If you can't get this one for your domain name, then alternative would be to use .NET. In terms of our own personal domain name, there are three possibilities. First of all, we could use a trading name that we might use for our site. So here we've got beardeddragoncaresite.com, and the second level domain here is beardeddragoncaresite. Alternatively, if you are a really well-known um, business, you can have your Name is Amazon here, so Amazon.com. Amazon, nothing to do with books really, but Amazon.com is clearly identifiable with the huge book and other product store on the web. And alternatively, you could use your own name. So here I've used my name, www.groundbray.com. This is great if you are. Um, 
putting up a diary perhaps so people who know you can look for your diary but if you're producing an information site or a marketing site it's not very well known I mean no one knows who Graham Bray is even my daughters don't know who Graham Bray is some days but uh, it's one to think about so the three possibilities as to what second level domain you could develop we're going to go to something called GoDaddy so we're going to just flip now to the GoDaddy site now here we are in the GoDaddy site, it's one I always use to get my domain names um, and this is like buying your address, this is buying the address for your blog so we can start your domain name search here, before we do this though what I suggest you do is you create an account, it doesn't cost anything to create an account so just click up here on create an account and that will take you into a series of um, questions and details I need to go through it when it opens up, there we go, so simply enter your contact information, name and so on, all these things here, enter it, okay, at the bottom here, click on create a new account and you'll be sent by email details, your password and so on. But what I'm going to do now is to log into my own account, so I'm going to come up here and I'll type in here my own account name, and log in And here we are. So I've now, there we are. Welcome back, Graham. Recognised me. Great. So what we can do here is to start looking for a domain name. Now this is completely up to you what domain name you want. You could use your own name. You could use a, um, a funny name or a trade name, whatever. Now throughout this series of um, blog preparation using WordPress, I'm going to be building a blog looking at barbecue recipes. It's something I've got interest in. So I'm going to try a barbecue recipes. Let's put in here um, BB. Q recipe okay dot com let's have a look to see if this one's been taken now not surprisingly because it's a pretty good domain name it's been taken before so I can't have that one let's have a think of something else what you can use at the end is um, what's called a a stop word so stop words like info um, possibly or system or review or something I'm going to call it BBQ recipe info that sounds like a good one. Let's see if this one's available. Keep your fingers crossed. So look. Yes, look at that. So the BBQ recipe info.com is available. So I'm going to use that as my domain name on my new blog. Let's continue now to registration. It only takes a few seconds, particularly if you've got your account set up. No thanks. Doing that. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm going to set mine up just for one year. Okay, there's the domain there. See BBQ USB info. On this for one year. Let's click on one year there. Okay, that's fine. Do one thing else. So next. Okay, now here just stick to the absolute basics. Do you want anything else? So stick to standard registration and next. Okay, there's nothing here particularly you want, so let's just keep going down and go to next. Okay, this is just telling me that I've got a domain come up expiring soon. Go to next. And here we are now ready at the checkup. Now you can see here that this domain is going to cost me the princely sum of five pounds and ten pence in English money. So that's all we want, just check it, bbqrecipeinfo.com, one year recurring, okay, and that's everything we need, so let's continue to check out. And because I've been here before, obviously it's kept my details, so all I've got to do now is place my order. Okay, so I've got to tick the box, that one there, place your order, and you should find, if everything's gone through smoothly, that I am now the proud owner of a domain name, and my new domain name is bbqrecipeinfo.com. Now, next thing you need to think about is what's called a hosting account. So. Just a minute, what is a hosting account? So a quick thing, let's see what we can do about that. Now a hosting account basically is the link between any website or blog that you're developing and the World Wide Web. Okay, you need to actually host your 
your content somewhere and that is why we have what's called a hosting account. Now the hosting account that I always use is something called hostgator.com and what we do now is go across the hostgator.com website and see what it's all about. So here we are now in the Hostgator website. As I say, Hostgator is the link between your web, your, your website, your blog, whatever you've got, and the World Wide Web. This will link up the two, and so it's like an intermediary between what you produce and the World Wide Web. Now, there is a monthly charge for this, a small subscription. So let's have a look, let's we'll get on with this. Look for web hosting here. Now I really do recommend here you go for the baby plan, the middle option here. Let's just call this down, okay? Monthly, that's what I want there. And it's but seven dollars ninety six a month. Order now. Now it's going to ask us to register a new domain name or an existing domain name. Now we have got our own domain name. So let's just have a look now at putting our own domain name in. So where we were www.bbq recipe info dot com. Okay, so that's our domain name that we just bought in GoDaddy. Let's now continue to step two. Okay, step two, this um, simply where we put our details, chit chat on a baby, that's right. It's going to cost us seven ninety six a month. We're okay with that. Now here we're going to put in a username, so let's um let's call it what we call it Graham and we've got in there um one, two, three, four, five perhaps. And all you'll do then is put in your details here, click on create an account, and away you go. You'll have a hosting account. Now Hostgator will send you an email. Now that email will contain some really important numbers that I'll talk to you about in the next video. So look out for that um, that email and look out for the numbers on it. Really important you keep those. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video at this point and next video we're looking at uploading your domain name, getting HostGator up and running and then actually building our WordPress blog. How exciting is that? So I'll be seeing you a bit later. I hope this has all made sense to you, but please, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please contact me at www.easierinternetmarketing.com and just go to the contact page there and get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye for now.